check out how much less it is in the system package. Hit install and boom, it's downloading and installing. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to install flat packs on your favorite Linux Mint system. It is actually super easy to do, but I've been getting quite a few questions in the comments about how exactly to set it up. So I decided to make this quick video to walk you through it. Whether you want to grab apps straight from the flat hub or use built-in software manager or even install a random flat pack file you downloaded from somewhere on the internet, I've got you covered. Let's jump right in. First of all, very quickly, what is the Flatpak? Flatpak is basically a universal app format. That means the same application works on many different Linux distributions, not just Linux Mint. Flatpaks come with most of the dependencies they need, so apps are usually more up to date and they don't mess up with their system. So first things first, good news. If you're running Linux Mint 18.3 or newer, which basically everyone is these days, Flatpak support is already built in. No crazy setup needed anymore. You don't have to add any extra PPAs or anything like that. It's actually pretty ready to go out of the box. To make sure everything works smoothly and you get access to the huge library of apps on Flathub, we just need one little command. Open up your terminal, you can hit Ctrl LT or just search for the terminal in the menu and type this. Hit enter and that's basically it. You've now added the official Flathub repository. Super simple, right? Now, before we continue, let me quickly explain something. Because this question comes up all the time. What's the difference between Flatpak and the normal apps you install with APT on Linux Mint? The short version is this. APT packages come from Linux Mint's own repositories. They're super stable, but sometimes the versions are a bit older. Flatpaks usually come straight from the developer through Flathub. They're often more up to date. Linux Mint actually prefers Flatpak over Snap because Flatpak doesn't force anything on you and integrates much nicer with the system. So you can use both APT and Flatpak side by side, no problem at all. Now let's talk about the easiest way most people use, through the software manager. That's the software app in your menu. Just open software manager and in the search bar at the top, type whatever app you want. Let's say VLC, GIMP, Spotify, whatever. You'll see some apps have a little flat hop source next to them. Just click the one you want. Keep in mind that the size difference between a system package designed strictly for your Linux Mint system and the flat pack that is a universal package format is huge. For example, for GIMP, you're getting the latest version 306 and it will require 1.8 gigabyte of disk space. So that's quite a lot. Check out how much less it is in the system package. If you choose a system package, the version is older, only 2.10, but it only requires 141 megabyte of disk space. So yeah, you have to choose between a newer version with a large amount of disk space required or an older version system package with less space required. The reason why flat packs can take up a bit more space at first because they download something called runtimes. But the important part is those runtimes are shared between apps. So if you install multiple flat pack apps, they're not all downloading the same stuff again and again. After a while, disk usage kind of stabilizes. And performance wise, on a normal desktop system, you honestly won't notice any difference. Flat packs just run fine. Hit install. It will show you a list of additional software that will be upgraded. Press continue and boom, it's downloading and installing. After it's done, the app shows up in your menu like normal. You can launch it, use it, everything works great. That's probably 90% of what you'll ever need. Really beginner friendly. Okay, next one, installing from the Flathub website itself. Go to flathub.org in your browser. On this flathub.org website, you can search for all kinds of flat packs and download them safely. Search for the app you want. Let's say we're gonna do GIMP again. When you find it, click the big blue install button. A drop down might appear. Click it and choose the copy to clipboard option. That shows the flat pack command. Jump back to the terminal, paste it in, hit enter, say why if it asks for confirmation, and you're good. It pulls everything it needs automatically. Very handy when you want the absolute latest version of something. 
And last but not least, what if you download a random Flatpak file from the internet, maybe like a developer shared a beta version or something directly on their GitHub. Super straightforward too. Just download the Flatpak file wherever you want, downloads folder is fine, then open the terminal, navigate to that folder, you can use cd downloads if it's there, and then run this command. I usually like to copy the file name instead of typing it myself, because then you're not going to make mistake trying to type in all these numbers and digits. Just make sure to copy it with an extension. Then hit enter, enter your password when prompted. Type Y to confirm and it installs just like the others. Sometimes it will still pull extra runtimes from Flathub, So make sure you added that repo earlier like we did at the beginning. Now one important thing to know about Flatpaks. They run in a sandbox for security reasons. That means sometimes an app won't see all your files or folders by default. And that's actually a good thing. If you ever need to control that, there is a really nice tool called Flatseal. You can install it as a Flatpak and visually manage permissions for your Flatpak apps. Things like file access, USB devices and so on. You usually don't need this, but it's good to know it exists. One quick tip. After installing any Flatpak, sometimes the menu icon doesn't show up immediately. Just log out and back in or reboot and it should appear nicely. Flatpaks usually update automatically through this software manager. But if you want to do it manually, you can always run Flatpak update. And if you ever need to remove a Flatpak, you can do it through the software manager like normal. Or in the terminal, you can uninstall it or clean up unused runtimes with these commands. That way you don't leave stuff behind taking up space. And if you want to know how to clean up your Linux Mint system, I have a separate video how to do that. So I'm going to leave a link in the description you can check out. It will help you regain your valuable space on your computer and get rid of unnecessary garbage on your Linux Mint system. Just to be fair, Flatpaks aren't always the best option. For system tools, drivers or anything deeply integrated into Linux Mint, you should still use the regular repositories. Flatpaks really shine for desktop apps like browsers, media players, editors, launchers, things like that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Flatpaks are awesome for getting newer apps or stuff that isn't in the regular repos. And they don't mess up your system packages at all. Win-win. And that's it. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please drop them down in the comments section below. Also, if you first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I'm gonna have a lot more helpful, interesting Linux videos, so make sure to subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can use super thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm gonna put the link in the description. I appreciate it very much, but this is it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.